Lord Hypnos, your faithful servant has arrived. How may I, Oneros, serve? There is a dangerous person I need you to dispose of. Quickly. <clears throat> who is that? A person we know who was meddling. He learned far too much about the dream world. That should tell you who it is, yes? Yes. He's a man with great loyalty to Athena. And considering his knowledge, he remains a threat to us. We cannot let our guard down. We need to take every precaution with this man. To prevent him from becoming a problem. Steal him away to your realm. With you all guarding it, that should ensure he'll never wake from his dream. Understood. We will keep him in our dream world. Then go, you gods of dreams. Yes. Sid, you were sitting vigil for our comrade? Sisyphus is my dear friend, and I will always be by his side. Mm. Since you've been here, has Sisyphus awakened? Mm. A wound inflicted by Hades himself strikes the soul directly. Perhaps struggling to heal from that wound is what's keeping him asleep. Hades may have injured him to his very soul, but I am certain his resilience will prevail. He'll rejoin us to fight again. Let's hope. Our fate hangs in the balance. Because we must defeat Hypnos, then we can confront Hades and win the war. We need Sisyphus's powers to be victorious. I smell an injury inflicted by Lord Hades. Stay back. I am Iceless. One of the four dream gods serving Lord Hypnos. Dream gods? <laughs> oh, so this is Sisyphus. Now that I found him, I'll take his soul from. Get away from him! What? Salah! Come back! Hey, Doko. Shion, I'm guessing you sensed it as well. Mm-hmm. From the house of Pegasus. I don't care if he is a god. To come into our sanctuary and steal his soul is crossing the line. <clears throat> Lady Athena, please honor my request. Allow me to go and rescue Sisyphus. But El Cid... Sisyphus and I were partners. We were tasked with learning the ways of Hypnos. While conducting our investigation, Sisyphus confirmed the existence of the four gods under Hypnos's control. Hypnos, brothers and children? So then all of them are gods as well. Isolus, who is just here, is one of those gods. But Sisyphus uncovered even more information regarding this ancient evil. He found out. Makes sense. Hypnos must have targeted Sisyphus for this attack. He wants to hide the dream world secrets. They have only one goal to trap Sisyphus's soul in their dream world so that he can never revive in ours. If the underworld exists to punish mortals, the Four Gods' dream world is the dungeon within it. To penetrate it at one's own will is impossible, as is escaping once there. The gods have full reign. Once imprisoned inside, even reincarnation is no longer an option. They will sleep for eternity. We must not lose Sisyphus under any circumstances. We need him to protect Earth from Hades in this war, and in the battles of the future. His powers are indispensable. However, this won't be easy. Their realm is protected. It is surrounded with a wall that's impenetrable by mortals. If he's already trapped in the dream world, this will be difficult. You're beginning a treacherous quest. You have my word I shall defeat those gods, and will return Sisyphus to our world. Bring him home. Yours is a critical mission. Our future depends on it.
I have immortal opposition before me. Failure is not an option. The my skill is not yet worthy of my saint status, and my blade must be sharp enough to cut down gods. Sir El Cid, we want to help. Can we join you on this mission? We, we want to help, help, sir! All saints have received clear orders to stand by in the sanctuary. The three of you know that you must stay here and protect Lady Athena. So does that mean you're going out on your own again? Why do you do this, sir? If there's danger out there, why won't you let us come and fight by your side? Must you put so much pressure on yourself, putting yourself out in harm's way alone? We're begging you. We can do this. Please let us help you. We won't fail. Sir, let, let us help. Stay here. Damn it. Why does he isolate himself from us and everyone else? Lady Athena, we felt a disturbance, something unusual from the House of Sagittarius. Xion, Doko. A god stole Sisyphus's soul? I've heard from my master Hakure. There are four gods under the influence of Hypnos. Their power is greater than I thought. They mock us with their divine power. El Cid has accepted the mission to rescue Sisyphus's soul. I sense the heavy burden El Cid carries and his resolve to win. <laughs> he feels responsible. He was Sisyphus's partner on numerous adventures. And although he never said it, he looked up to him like a brother. They're both loyal to Athena, and each of them is endowed with a strong sense of duty, but they're very different men. Of course you're right. When I picture El Cid, I imagine a warrior with a sharp and pointed blade. Sisyphus, on the other hand, possesses a spirit that remains benevolent and giving. Looks like we're on standby again. I understand why El Cid is worried about his friend Sisyphus. I get why he looks up to him. But let us help. Remember? We talked to Sisyphus once. One day we'll be gold saints too. <laughs> we can return to the sanctuary to rest now, but you just keep training and training. Sir Sisyphus, we want to be of service to him for when he is asked to go on a mission. Please remind him that we're full-fledged saints now. We swear we'll be brave in the heat of battle and help him succeed. I mean, could you tell him that? I bet he would listen to you. I know he thinks of you like a brother. Please, Please Sir Sisyphus, Sisyphus, relay our request. Ah, seems you want me to be your messenger boy. Huh? Uh, no, th that's not what we meant. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's not that El Cid doesn't trust your bravery. He does. Huh? You see, he is constantly honing his skills for battle, his work with a sword, and his mental preparation for mind and body focus to purify his spirit. No matter what anyone tells him, he refuses to listen. He only hears his training. You three are still young, and you're inexperienced in the ways of battle. He is protecting you from the harshness he has no choice but to embrace and would impose upon you. If that's true, we can't call ourselves his disciples. We would pay the ultimate price, though we may lose our lives in battle. To fight and die with him would be a true honor. We're ready. Don't treat death so callously. Never think death is your ambition. <laughs> But I worry. He's honing only one attack. His blade does make a strong cut. Its power is undeniable. But will that be enough to defeat our enemies? Did you notice El Cid's Cosmo? It was as sharp as fangs, wasn't it? He was pushing us and everyone else away. 
It's no wonder. The mission of recovering Sir Sisyphus is completely on his shoulders. But why? Why can't we go and help him? Yeah, I know. We have to act now. The three of us should be right there with him in this battle. We are his disciples, aren't we? Hmm. <laughs> But I can smell it. The Cosmo of a beast. Some say my soul is too sharp. If that is true, then you are my opposite, Sisyphus. We are quite different. Just defending. I don't know what he's gonna do to win this. He's completely outmatched. You're wrong, Rusk. Pakia has a plan. I bet he's just biding his time. Hmm? Watch out, I won't miss this time. Don't be fooled by my size. I've worked and trained just as hard as you to become a saint. <laughs> I'll win this fight and earn my cloth if it's the last thing I do! No! <laughs> Whoa! He got him with one hit! Right on! That was incredible! Now you're one of the saints! <laughs> nice job, Pacquiao! Pacquiao's disappeared from the sanctuary. Yeah, it's true. We've searched everywhere. We can't find him. Do you think he... deserted? Not a chance. He was excited for tomorrow's ceremony, when he would receive his cloth and become a saint. Where is he? This doesn't make sense. He did everything right. I thought for sure he was going to end up Sir El Cid's right hand. I don't know what to make of this. Hakia. Why are you running? Sir El Cid. I'm scared. Scared of wearing the cloth. I don't think that I'm worthy. Pacquiao! The crusade is coming. And I know that once the war begins, every saint must be prepared to die to save the world. But I just don't think I have it in me. No one is immune to fear. That is why we must work on our battle skills and overcome that fear of death. In the past, I believed you would be able to do this. I'm not strong. My spirit's not as brave as yours. Watching you, even as I worked, I knew I couldn't push myself to train for perfection the way that you do. And if one day I were to become a saint, a burden slowing you down. I take it that's your final excuse. <laughs> Sanctuary desertion is punishable by death. You do understand that. <laughs> What were you about to do here, my friend? You swore loyalty to Lady Athena. Do you stand by that? Do you? Then even if you do not become a saint, there are other ways to live and to make our world a thriving, peaceful place. You shouldn't be ashamed of your fear. Recognize it. Don't run from it. And find a way to contribute that suits you and your strengths. Whether you're fighting in battle, helping the weak, or building communities, all those things help people thrive. They are just. <laughs> there was another side to your kindness. Your heart was easily hurt. The scars on your soul from past actions prove you still blame yourself for taking young Lady Athena away from Tenma and her brother to bring her to the Sanctuary. You cannot help but feel guilty. It's your nature, but it was also your downfall. Visions, Isolus. I will find you. I swear it. 
<laughs> what do we have here? I spy a sanctuary right on the loose alone. This one must be a fool if he thinks he can break into Hades Cathedral on his own. Let's tear him to pieces and feed his soul to the gods! You're challenging me. Beware, I'm El Cid, the Capricorn Saint. Looks like we have a gold saint that wants to play. Time to die! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I've heard of you. You are the gold saint who is constantly honing the cut of his blade for battle. A man with an attack so sharp it's nearly divine. But it will have no effect on me, heavenly retreating star Genbu Gregor. You'll find my surplice armor is as tough and hard as diamonds. Try to cut me if you think you can. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I broke you in half, Saint! Oh, wait! But how? So then this is the Divine Sword Excalibur! This blade of mine has yet to be a Divine Sword. I have yet to attain the ideal blade. It will get sharper, as sharp as the limits my soul will allow. You dare to come sniffing around my place? Just what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I've come to save Sisyphus. Then I have sad news. It's already too late for that. If you're here trying to retrieve his soul, it's safely stored away in a place that you can't possibly reach, mortal! It's deep in the dream world, inside Morphia. Then I guess I'll have to break in. What was that? Do you have any idea what the dream world is like? Mere humans like you can't waltz in there. That's why you'll take me. You insolent slime! You do realize you were followed. You've made a foolish error. My, what a handsome man. Maybe I'll take you home with me. Quit playing games, Fantasos. Come on, Oneros, don't be so serious all the time. It would be such a waste to kill him right away. So, the four dream gods of Hypnos. Dream god, Oneros. Visions, Isolus. Portrayer, Fantasos. And modeler, Morpheus. This must mean the path into the dream world is nearby. Are you ready to do battle with the gods of dreams? I hope so. I welcome it. Make no mistake, it's why I'm here. Ugh. He bugs me. Leave him to me, I want to kill him. Move away, Fantasos! You're so bossy. Why are you trying to rush all my fun? The first time we came face to face, I let you live. But this time, you'll die. Sorry, but until I complete my rescue mission, I will not be parting with my life! How did he divert my attack? You may be a gold saint, but you're still just a human. As one of the four gods, how can you hope to defeat all of us? <laughs> <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? There is a difference between gods and mortals. <laughs> now it's getting good. Isolus is playing with him. Isolus, remember we have our own mission to complete. Finish him off. <laughs> you are beginning to smell of death, mortal. <laughs> yes, it's time for you to die. Focus my own attack. <laughs> but how? How was he able to wound me? <laughs> I'm so glad I finally have a gold saint trophy. How nice.